Okay, so the two main chores that you've got to make sure that you do every day when you've got backyard chickens. The first one Lollipop is demonstrating right now, they've got to have clean water on demand all the time. I'll be honest with you, when your chickens go up to bed at night, and I'll show you their roost here in a second, they're not really going to eat or drink. They'll stay up there basically when it's dark. My girls, we just had our stupid daylight saving time. It's November here in South Texas. So it's dark. I would think by 745 and I come in just go ahead and lock my girls up because they're in bed they will not even come down the ramp to eat or drink anything all night but of course you want to make sure you have fresh water on demand and you want to make sure that they have food on demand now if you haven't seen my chicken coop hacks sorry there's a wagon full of kids behind me if you haven't seen my chicken coop hacks this is our automatic feeder and so that huge four inch PVC pipe we fill it with the crumble and it's covered up at the top I'll walk around in a second that bucket has a little curtain that's just a piece of plastic we cut in half basically like a, a cheap like cutting board i think um and then they have a bowl down there where their their crumble feed is so none of it gets wasted and dropped on the ground and none of it will get wet and so honestly i probably only have to fill up that feeder once every four or five days and then like you saw or we'll see the uh that storage unit back there has the rest of their food my girls ate their garlic immune boosting snack i've got a video on that if you'd like to see um, but anytime we feed them anything that's people food or scraps or anything like that i always put their food in trays i never just dump it on the ground because we don't have a huge pest problem we don't have a predator problem at all but i don't want to start one so if you can see these strawberry scraps um, the girls drag them out of the tray i'm going to make sure i clean that up so if you don't like touching you know old corn cobs or like you know nasty squishy pieces of tomato or whatever you feed your chickens um, just feed them in some kind of tray and that way you don't have to worry about picking everything up with your hands you just take the tray and dump it so major chicken chore number one that has to be done every day make sure that their food and water is good and i'll show you my trash can it's a uh, very sophisticated as you can see and it's just lined with one of those small um i think they're just called like waste basket trash bags that is a deodorizing spray that i made that's water and white vinegar and then a couple of essential oils this is the other spray that complements that uh, poultry dust that I had. This is poultry protector. And this is basically, um, I wouldn't say it's exactly homeopathic, but essentially it's it's like the least invasive thing you can do if you think you have, um, you know, any kind of poultry mites or lice or anything like that. So I also have, and I re really recommend if you're using PDZ, I'll show you in a second. This is just a cat litter scoop. But if you are like me and you don't just don't want to be wasteful, you don't want to dump out all of that pine for no reason. And just like that, you're not going to want to dump out all of your clean PDZ for no reason. So PDZ, which is what's in here, I'm going to show you in just a second, is great because it will clump to the poop that you've got in there. And so then, you know, you just shake out the poop and drop it and then you're good. All right. So the second chicken chore that has to be done every day, and it's going to take me longer to explain it to you than it really is actually going to take on the day to day is for you to be cleaning out what is underneath your roosts now i'm not talking about what's in the run and the run is basically like the chicken's yard that i honestly don't have to scrape out very often at all and i have one of those adjustable expanding rakes you can see it leaning over there but that doesn't have to be done that often at least not for my chickens because they free range all day they don't hang out in this zone hardly ever um, unless it's bad weather and they don't want to get wet or something so that's really not that big of a deal and i just churn up the dirt a little bit chicken poop is really great for um, just fertilizing and composting purposes so that's fine but the other major thing is under their roost you're going to want to make sure that that you keep this clean so one thing that i really like about this chicken coop and you can watch the separate um the coop review video it's by innovation pet is this whole drawer slides out and so now, and I won't do all of this because it's not that exciting, but dump that into the trash can and then all of the clean PDZ stays right there. And then you just top off if you need a little bit more. Um, but you want to make sure you do this every day and just get poop out of this zone because remember, your chickens are in the coop all night as long as it's dark. So that's what, probably 10, 11 hours a day. So you want to make sure that it's clean. The other thing you can do... <clears throat> is I mean just Google or look on Pinterest I'm not gonna claim to have my own recipe but one of those big squirt bottles I filled it halfway with water and the other half with white vinegar which is just great for deodorizing and just cleaning 
talking from Calypso, like, what is going on in here? Where's the floor? And I just put some like lemon and lavender and peppermint essential oils. Um, those smell good. They're not harmful to the chickens when inhaled. And those are also good for repelling bugs. Um, of course, what girl? Of course, most of the bugs that are in here, the chickens are just going to eat anyway. They have a couple of house spiders and stuff in there that aren't really posing a problem. Um, it's more just for odor control because I don't like flies hanging out in here. So I'll spray it after the girls have laid for the day. Like I've got three chickens. I have three eggs in there. They're done. They won't be in here again until dark. So I'll spray it now and then leave it open so we can kind of air out. But as you can see, I mean, it's in the mid 80s right now on an afternoon in South Texas and I've got like one maybe two flies with me having all these doors open so I just try to keep it clean you don't have to remove cobwebs and all that kinds of stuff unless you just really like to chickens aren't afraid of spider webs or anything like that um earwigs cockroaches a lot of bugs that will get into the coop we think are gross but hey that's a protein snack for your chickens but again you are going to want to clean out the poop on a daily basis all right so the next chicken chore that we're talking about is cleaning the nesting boxes girls so this is Pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Three nesting boxes. And I'll be honest with you, if you haven't seen my other videos, this box and this box are pretty much unused. My girls will never really like to send them except for maybe sleeping and pooping. But so they all want to lay right here. The brown eggs are the girls' eggs and that one is a dummy egg. When you're teaching your chickens where you want them to lay when they get old enough, it's a really great idea for you to put just a couple of ceramic or plastic, I mean, even like those plastic cheap Easter eggs, just something to show them where they're supposed to do their job. So what you're going to want to do is keep this area very, very clean. Um, I personally haven't had this experience, but I know some people, if, if there was too much poop or maybe not enough clean bedding in the nesting boxes, your chickens will decide they don't want to lay here. They'll go lay something somewhere else. So these are just a couple of molted feathers. My girls are really young, so they're not really molting this year. Your eggs can stay. What? Wow. Okay, go put it on the table kids are finding shells in the yard so you can leave the eggs in here for a day unless it's getting too hot but you're definitely going to want to make sure that you use enough pine bedding or you can use hay or straw you want to stay away from cedar because the um, the dust from it is dangerous for the girls respiratory systems and then you don't want anything that's too long that's why I shy away from hay or straw because you don't want them to try to eat the long pieces and then it gets stuck in their crop so you're gonna to wanna to keep this area clean. I check it every morning. And then the other thing you can do, and I do this occasionally, and I, I'm not really you know, sensitive about my hands touching chicken poop or whatever. We have this dust. This is that, that poultry dust that I showed you earlier. We just put it there underneath. And so occasionally I will just pull this away and look and make sure that I don't see anything moving because you don't want mites there where your girls are having to sit to lay their egg. That would be pretty miserable. To just it's kind of like you know sitting on an ant hill or sitting when you're just getting attacked by bugs now other than that though you don't really have to ever replace this pine um, or whatever bedding you've got unless you just feel like it some people get super organic and they add in like dried herbs and things like that and we just have three girls and a very small budget so this is very basic but we clean this every day we leave it open occasionally after the girls are done laying all mine lay in the morning one lays at 9 one lays at 10 one lays at 11 so then we can just let it air out a little bit. And then of course I open their windows every morning and close them every night. Okay, so as we're talking about chicken chores, this is my Rubbermaid outdoor storage bin quilts. This is just for you. Um, and so I can open it up easily for all of my chicken chore needs. So you've got the rest of a bag of PDZ right here. It's normally found in the horse section of your feed store, but it's essentially like very fine cat litter. It's for odor control and it will keep your, um, it, will, it just makes it really easy for you to be able to pick up um, basically poop. So it eliminates harmful ammonia, which you know, ammonia comes from waste. And it just looks like, I'll show you what it looks like in the coop, but it's just like a gray sand. No. Get out of the mealworms. Get, you birds. I didn't know what that bag is. Get out of here. Go on. Get, get, get. Go. Go eat your garlic. Jeez, these chickens. I swear. All right. So we've got PDZ. I've got one of those little brooms with its little tray. 
I have pine shavings, a huge bag, all this stuff that's like, I think pretty much everything I buy, it's like 15 bucks a bag. So that's 15 bucks a bag. It's the only one I've ever bought. I'm almost due for another one though. This is the second bag that I've ever bought of pine and we've had chicks since April. This sealed container is where we keep their crumble feed. Guess what? It's about 15 bucks a bag. Um, that's, that's not for chickens, that's potting soil. This is the dust that we used when we had a little bit of a mite problem. Let me turn it. Garden and poultry dust. And that's kind of, um, I'll, I'll link to that and do a post about that one day, but essentially that was when we had compost mites because this composter that was right here, when it had a whole bunch of fresh uh, produce in it, we originally had the composter right next to the coop. And so these teeny tiny little mites would just hop over into, into the nesting box. So that's what's in there. This stuff, is for there's mealworms right there this is for the fly traps 